Okay, we're going to go ahead and calculate the tangential and normal components of acceleration also, um, partly just because um, we haven't done any examples of those yet, and they also can reuse, depending on what formula you choose to use, a lot of uh, calculations that we've already done. So one of the formulas I could use for the tangential component of acceleration is this one, V dot A divided by the magnitude of V. I don't have V dot A yet, but that's pretty straightforward calculation. Another formula that I might choose to use for the tangential component of acceleration is the derivative with respect to time of the speed. And I do have the speed function. I could take the derivative of that, or I could do this V dot A divided by the magnitude of V, and I'll get the same answer either way. Uh, I'm going to use the V dot a formula, so let's just go up here and calculate V dot A really quickly. Um, so when I do that, I will have sine T cosine T when I multiply the I components, and then minus sine T cosine T when I multiply the J components, and then on the K components, I'll have plus 4 T. So that whole thing simplifies to be just 4 T. I'm going to put a little circle around that so that I can find that when I need it. Okay, so let's go down here to the tangential component of acceleration. So we'll have 4t over the magnitude of v is square root of 1 plus 4t squared. Ooh, my box kind of went right through it, but okay. And then the normal component of acceleration, uh, depending on which formula to choose for that, we could either do some more calculations or we could notice that there's a formula that reuses a lot of the calculations we already did. Uh, magnitude of V cross A divided by magnitude of V. All right, so we already have both of those. Magnitude of V cross A is square root of 4T squared plus 5. And magnitude of V is square root of 4T squared plus 1. And again, with both of those, we could think about uh, when they're positive, when they're negative, uh, when they're biggest, when they're smallest, all those kinds of things. Uh, one important thing to note is that the tangential component of acceleration over here is um, positive sometimes and negative sometimes. Okay, so when that tangential component of acceleration is positive, that's going to be important to pay attention to. When the tangential component of acceleration is positive, uh, that tells us that the object is speeding up as it moves along the curve. When the tangential component of acceleration is negative, that tells us that acceleration is in the direction opposite of motion, and so the object is speeding down, or speeding down, slowing down as we move along the curve. And when that tangential component of acceleration is zero, only at one particular time when t equals zero, then the acceleration vector is perpendicular to the motion along the curve. Um, so at that time, the acceleration vector is only in the direction of n. It has no component in the direction of t.